Hi there, it's Thomas, and if you're new around here, I'm a third year astrophysics student at the University of St Andrews in Scotland. And in today's video, I'm going to talk a little bit about why. Why am I a third year astrophysics student? Why did I choose this degree? What else did I consider? Why astrophysics and not just physics? I'm going to answer all of these questions today and tell you a bit more about what led me to be sitting in front of this camera talking about physics. But before I can talk about why I chose the degree, I need to really cover a bit about me growing up. To put it mildly, I was a bit of a know-it-all as a kid. Some would say I still am. I devoured books when I was little. I found the Harry Potter DVDs when I was four years old and then demanded that the books be read to me. And then I read them myself once I wasn't four years old anymore. I was quick to get reading. I read above my level in primary school and for most of primary school and into high school, I wanted to be an author or a journalist. I was pretty sure for the longest time that I'd go on to do an English degree, something my mum actually did. So what? chain because obviously I didn't do that. Well, in high school I was enjoying English a bit less than I used to and I was reading quite a bit less. My English teacher actually told us at parents night that most people who go and do an English degree either don't use it directly or go into teaching and I wanted to use my degree when I eventually got one and I didn't really want to do teaching. What I was really into at this point in school was music and the sciences. At the time I was taking National Fives in Physics, Chemistry, English, Maths, Music and German. National Fives are like the Scottish roughly equivalent to GCSEs. Um, I spent... I spent more time in the... I spent more time in the music department than in any other department during high school. And you might be now wondering why I'm not saying I'm a third year music student. Well there are a few reasons why. The first is, well quite frankly I wasn't good enough. I didn't enjoy practicing. It wasn't something that I found joy in, sitting in a room playing the same piece over and over and over and over again. And I'd probably been miserable doing that for years on end for a degree, and even more miserable doing it for decades on end as a job. I much prefer playing music as a hobby. I like playing in ensembles. In school, I was part of the school band, the school brass band, the council area orchestra, a community orchestra. Now I'm at university, I'm part of the wind band. I like playing on ensembles. It's partially because of the social aspect and the fact that you can have a bit of a laugh while preparing for a concert. And like I said about English, I didn't really want to do teaching, which is what a lot of people do with a music degree if you don't start being a touring performer. And I should specify, when I talk about saying I didn't want to do teaching, I'm specifying about high schools and primary schools. Universities are a different beast. So this kind of left me with the sciences, given we'd ruled out English, we'd ruled out music, and I wasn't enjoying German as a subject as much as music, and I, had, I have never had a, an ear for languages, let me put it that way. So, physics, maths, or chemistry. Well, I knew I didn't want to do maths. I, I didn't dislike maths, and I still don't dislike maths. But it was just a bit abstract for me. And it still is kind of abstract. For me, what I liked about physics and chemistry were that I could, I could either see or conceptualise what we were studying. Numbers on their own didn't really do that for me. In physics, when we have numbers, they represent a thing. A thing that I can either visualise or graph or something. So that kind of ruled out maths. So it leaves me with physics and chemistry. Now obviously I chose physics, specifically astrophysics. But this was a hard choice. My gran had taught chemistry and I did like it and I was good at it as well. My higher chemistry teacher spent the majority of the year trying to convince me to take it to advanced higher. I liked inorganic chemistry. I know a lot of organic chemists if they're watching will be shocked by this. Um, but it was probably because it was the closest to physics. But chemistry has this problem for me. A problem that I faced every single year I had done chemistry education. Which is that we'd be told something along the lines of, see this thing we told you was true before? Yeah, that's not right. This is how it actually is. And it gets 
you get this every year and it was kind of annoying me because like I didn't do an exam and then everything just disappeared out of my head. In physics, they tell you a thing. They tell you enough to do that qualification. And then next year they say, right, this is right, but this is how we make it more accurate. Like we'd start off, for example, if you think about moving things, you start off with Newton's laws of motion and then you add friction. Um, and then if you're in space, you start off with Newtonian gravity and then they say, right, general relativity is a thing. It's that sort of it's that sort of thing. It builds on it rather than saying, hey, this is just kind of wrong. Um, anyway, in general, I, I preferred physics. There was something rather elegant about being able to describe the universe using maths. And I liked that. And I realized that there are probably some pure mathematicians sitting in the comment section angrily typing out that physics is not elegant it's a dirty science and we take far too many approximations and shortcuts for their liking. Anyway, there's also perhaps this idea that being able to boil down the at times chaotic world into mathematical laws and data and the fact that, that resonates so much with me that it's maybe just a deep dive into my psyche that I'm not ready for. Anyway, why did I start thinking about physics as a degree aside from preferring it to chemistry? Well, a key thing that kind of got me thinking about it was the Stephen Hawking biopic The Theory of Everything, which if you haven't seen it, it is an amazing movie. Eddie Redmayne really deserved the Oscar for that performance and I must stress it is not the only thing that made me do a physics degree. Picking a degree because of a movie is a really really terrible way to do it, unless you're doing film studies. Either way, it got me thinking about physics. I'd enjoyed what I'd done for Nat 5 physics for the most part, although mechanics and friction are just a bit dull. I don't like friction. I still don't like friction. Why can't the universe just be a frictionless plane? It would make maths so much easier and we wouldn't have to deal with the dissipation of energy due to friction. My hatred of friction does kind of lead us on nicely to me finding out about astro. Now the Scottish physics courses always have parts about space and I always liked these parts. There was no irritating friction to deal with and I'm also a massive sci-fi nerd. I was given the Star Wars original trilogy on DVD for Christmas when I was eight. I now own all of the movies with the exception of the Clone Wars movie, which is fine because it's on Disney Plus. But I branched away from Star Wars as well towards the series that is now my favorite sci-fi series of all time, Star Trek. Seriously, I dread to think quite how much money I have spent on all of those DVD box sets, but the Trekno babble got me interested in space science, even though most of it is a bit questionable. My physics teacher knew that I was a massive nerd. I went to his Warhammer 40k lunchtime club. Yeah, he's the guy who really is responsible for my initial plastic crack addiction. Although I should mention that Dr. Simon Clark is also very much to blame for this because of his streams and the fact that I've set aside my Friday afternoons for painting, I'm getting off topic. Anyway, he had done an astrophysics degree. He knew I liked space and he introduced me to this as a concept. I didn't know astrophysics degrees were a thing yet. When I found this out, it really increased my enthusiasm about physics. I found the exoplanets content we were studying really interesting, although now I do prefer stars. I'd figured out this was what I wanted to do and my physics teacher really encouraged me to pursue it. So I did. I put in the work, I got good higher results, and I applied to universities and I got my five unconditionals. I chose to come to St Andrews and start studying astrophysics, and then I had a second choice to make. Do I play it safe? Do I do first year entry? And give me the opportunity to change course if I really hate it after all? Or do I take the plunge? Do I do second year entry? Now that is a topic for a future video. To see that video, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you found my journey towards astrophysics interesting, please do like this video and perhaps you'd share a bit about your journey to either what you're studying, what you studied or what you're going to study. I'd be really interested to read them in the comment section below. If you're looking for something else to watch, then maybe you'd enjoy my recent video about how we know there are lakes on Titan. In the meantime though, I've been Thomas Rintoul and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.